power supply from a Last Action Hero uh, Data East game. And like so many other Data East power supplies of this era, the cap in the center of the picture, C2, begins to leak and then severs the trace between C2 and D2, D3 that are just to the right of it in the picture. Also, a problem with Data East is these fuse clips over here, and I have one of them out right now. I am starting to use a different technique to replace these fuse clips. They just <clears throat> bend right off. They, uh, they start to lose their strength, and then the Data East original fuse clips, they'll, they don't clamp the fuse tightly any longer and uh, they eventually break off. So I've taken some new high amp fuse clips here and I cut the wings off of them and then I have I start by tack soldering it to one end and then I flow solder across the rest of the fuse clip while the fuse is in place to make sure I get good contact on both sides. So that fuse clip I've just replaced and I'll restore the fuse when I get done here. So let's test a few things. First the GI relay working perfectly and then let's test some voltages so i've got my meter connected and let's test the high voltages first we've got a minus 91 and a minus 112 now you might think why is that more than 12 volt difference and that's a good question and the reason is because it's not loaded right now 68 volts that was a ground pin five volts go over here to these test points and test the rest of them. Here's the 12 volt test point, 5 volts again, and that was ground, minus 12. So all the voltages on this power supply are working properly. I'm going to power this off to show you this fuse clip and how they're supposed to sound when you put a fuse clip you should clip or put a fuse in you should be able to hear it sort of snap in place like that so let's get to testing the MPU board next a last action hero MPU. And I rolled in some stills of the alkaline corrosion that damaged this board. And I have taken care of that. I've removed all the corrosion, sanded to bare copper, and then conformal coated uh, the bare copper so it doesn't oxidize again. I've socketed and replaced the 6802 new 28-pin sockets here for the NVRAM which I installed and the game ROM. I have a Simpsons game ROM in there right now. <clears throat> it's just easier for me to test on the bench. I've replaced all these TIP 102s that have silver tabs on them. Some of the original ones escaped the dripping of alkaline and I've replaced the connector for the power, and these three connectors down here had corrosion on them also, so I had to replace those. So let's fire it up. I'm gonna show you the diagnostic LEDs. <clears throat> and that's what they look like when the Simpsons boots. It does a little stutter step, and I don't know why. It's unique to the Simpsons. And let me turn off the light so we can see a little bit better. So I do have a Simpson sound card connected. So let's put the game into test. Get through these Data East preliminary messages. Let me lock out the advance button for a little while. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that, but I can hear the left speaker. Let me advance this to the center speaker and it gets a little louder than the right speaker. Hey man, we're both underachievers. Oh, I love that.
And all that really does is proves that the interface through the small 22 pin header is working properly and wasn't damaged by the corrosion. The next test is display test. Looking good with my universal double alphanumeric panel. Switch test. Column one and row one. And switch 64 just for good measure. Working properly. No active switches. Lamp test. Row test, column test, individual lamp test. You see a little ghosting there. That is due to the LEDs in the, my dumbass tester. Flashers. I have this set to day to yeast now. And now you'll see the A side, C side multiplexed coils execute. That bright blue LED is the AC select coil firing. And now we're on to the special solenoids, which I can also fire by pressing each of these switches individually. So those are working properly. We can test individual coils. We'll skip that and reboot the game. So well, this MPU is ready to go. Thank you so much. I, I will put the last action hero ROM back in and make sure it boots and get it back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much.